Praise the Lord po. Good morning to everyone. Thank God for the It's of us have been blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Salamat po na tayo ay binibigyan ng Diyos ng patuloy na kalayaan upang siya po ay ating paglingkuran at paghandugan ng ating mga sariling katauhan. Kapatid, salamat na nandiyan ka. Maging nasa saan ka mang lugar ngayon, dito sa Pilipinas o sa ibang bansa, congratulations sa iyo for being a child of God at ikaw ay mayroong pag-ibig sa Diyos. The fact that you are uh, with this service today is indeed an evidence na ikaw ay nagmamahal sa Diyos. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Tayo po ay magkaisa. Manalangin muna tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid. Aming dakilat mapagpalang Diyos na may lalang ng langit at ng lupa. Ikaw na siya naming amang sumasalangit na sa amin ay tunay nagmamahal at nagkakaloob ng lahat ng mga bagay, buhay, mabuting kalusugan, kalakasan, karunungan at kapangyarihan. Kasama Panginoon ang anointing ng Holy Spirit, salamat po na binibigyan mo kami ng karapatan bilang iyong mga anak at narito kami o Diyos, isang buhay na patutuo na ang aming Diyos na pinaglilingkuran ay buhay at kapiling namin maging sa mga oras na ito. Hallelujah! Maluwal hati ka, aming dakilang Diyos, at mataas ka sa aming kalagitnaan. At tanggapin, Panginoon, ang amin pong paglilingkod na ito, at kasihan kami ng banal na Espiritu. O Diyos, hallelujah! Sa iyo ang lahat-lahat, at amin pong ibinibigay sa iyo ang paglilingkod na ito, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mapalad tayo mga kapatid sapagkat ang Diyos po ay talaga pong nagsusupply sa ating mga pangangilangan. Uh, ngayong umaga, I just want to share with you uh, about the four golden pillars of success. Yun pa rin po ang mga haligi ng tagumpay. Nais mo ba ng tagumpay kapatid? Okay, I want to share with you the big for best secrets to become wealthy and prosperous. While the world is crumbling in crisis, poverty, turmoil, disease, scarcity, political chaos, troubles, devastation, distress, and sufferings for humanity. In Genesis chapter 1, verses 26, 27, and 28, it says, And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. 28, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Here's a question. What is God's purpose in making man? The answer is dominion. Dominion. Everybody say dominion. dominion. What is dominion? Dominion is to govern, to rule, to control, to manage, and to lead. Dominion over what? Of course, overall, of the creation of God, like the fish of the sea, the fowl or the birds uh, in the sky, ang lahat ng mga, mga may pakpak na mga ibon, cattle, lahat ng hayupan, over everything that creeps upon the earth, yung mga gumagapang, lahat, kasama na dyan ang buaya, 
Pati yung sawat, ahas. Lahat. Hallelujah. Say praise the Lord. To be fruitful, there must have been seed planted. There's gonna be no fruit if there was no seed planted. And then that, that seed must have grown well and bear much fruit. And then a good harvest. And then we replant the seed again and repeat the process. And that's the cycle of life on earth. God will never require you to produce something more than what he has done and already given in his creation. The number one secret is be fruitful. Say, say it, be fruitful. I must be fruitful. You must be fruitful. Let us be fruitful. Fruitful in Hebrew does not mean only to have children. So shocking, isn't it? It's not just to have children. For example, Father Abraham had only one child with Sarah, his wife. So perhaps or maybe we can say that he did not do well with the job. Because he only had one child, Isaac. You may laugh at that. But fruitful means productive. Producing much of something beneficial. This is God's first command. While poverty is a result of not enough production or having no production at all. In Mark chapter 14, verse 3, starting from verse 3, and being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious. Sa ating panahon ngayon, kung mayroon itong box ng spikenard na binuhos doon sa ating Panginoon Kristo, yung dala ng babae, mga kapatid, ang worth noon is about 13 to 15,000 US dollars. It's close to a million pesos, mga kapatid. Oh, so that is one of the most expensive uh, ointment or perfume those days. Very precious, spike nerd. And she break the box and poured it on the head of our Lord Jesus Christ. Four, and there was and there were some that had indignation. Galit sila within themselves and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? Bakit daw sinayang inaksaya? Five, for it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. Six, and Jesus said, Let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. Gumawa siya ng babuting gawa sa akin. And seven, for you have the poor with you always. Again, for you have the poor with you always. And whensoever you will, you may do them good. But me, you have not always. The phrase, poor always with you. Yung salita pong, poor always with you, does not imply and does not necessarily mean poor, poor without money. Rather, it suggests about the non-productivity or would not produce at all. Not only that cannot produce, but including that those that wouldn't produce. There are people capable of producing, but they wouldn't like to produce. They are lazy. They spend their time in some other things, and they don't want to produce for God. 
Without production, poverty comes in. God told Adam to be fruitful. Example, you don't have to produce a tree. Rather, make a lumber to be used to make a chair, a table, cabinet, and other types of furniture. Another one, don't have to make a cow. Rather, use the cow for meat, milk, Leather to make shoes, bags, and belts, and etc. God never made a building. Rather, he let the architects, engineers, and carpenters build it by using rocks, cement, steel, iron, wood, and other materials coming from the mountains and ore. So with cars, airplanes, and ships. The future of the Philippines is not in China, nor in the United States of America. The power to produce as Filipino is here in the Philippines, our beloved native land. Philippines, my Philippines. Poverty is a lack of creativity, not lack of resources. Money is not taken out anywhere. It is not taken to the sun, nor to the moon, nor the stars and other planets. It remains here on earth. But why is there crisis? Yes, there's crisis because of a lack of creativity to produce. Wealth is a result of producing much more than what is needed meaning in abundance. Number two, secret. What was number one? What was number one secret? Be fruitful. Here comes number two. The number two secret is multiply. Please say it with me, multiply. I will multiply. Multiply means to reproduce after its kind. Tulad niyan, I just made an example about the school of fish. So, kaya hindi naubos po yung isda because yung isang isda mahuli pero bago siguro nakapanganak yun, sa isang panganakan ng isda, mga kapatid, thousands po ang naging itlog ng isda. Kaya hindi po naubos kahit ano pang dami ng tao God knows how to supply the necessities of mankind to reproduce after its kind. Look at Jollibee. Jollibee is now operating again. You, you may order and they will just deliver it to your homes. Um, it produces chicken joy. Say chicken joy. I love to eat chicken joy and other products, then produce more of it to be supplied into all its stores worldwide. Schumart also, having a chain of stores in key cities of the Philippines and abroad, and using the same method and management style to run its business, a model system to be successful in a chosen business that is their fruit. It seems like they have discovered the right model than the church. If you have one good product, you must multiply it to be successful. You can't be successful with having just a handful. Hindi ka pwedeng maging successful na kakaramput lang. Like rice, tulad ng bigas. You don't cook one piece of rice. <laughs> if you cook one piece of rice alone, uh, that is, I think, there's a problem with the intellect of that person. Nobody cooks one piece of rice alone. You don't cook one piece of rice alone. What? Just a tiny rice for your meal? Rather, you may cook one kilo of rice and feed a family of five in a meal. Right? Okay. 
Jollibee is making millions of its products with the same quality of Chicken Joy, Yum Burger, Spaghetti um, in the Philippines, China, in the USA, and all places where they have Jollibee stores. Bill Gates, do you know Bill Gates? He is my good friend. I always see him online. <laughs> Bill Gates is the owner of Microsoft, and he is um, called the richest person on earth right now, or maybe yesterday, or even tomorrow. Bill Gates also with Microsoft produced one good fruit, and he multiplied it so much that almost all computers have been installed with his system, operating system, at least. Um, and there are more products from the Microsoft. What you would not reproduce will stop and die. If you would not reproduce something that is good, it will stop and it will die. So let's go to the number three secret. It is called replenish. Replenish means to distribute efficiently. Ipamahagi po ng mahusay. Amen. Why does God always give us good ideas like this? Yeah, because he wants us to be good managers. Manager of God's company. My life, your life. Our life is like a company and we are the manager of our own life. You have to manage your life very well. You must uh, take good care of yourself. You must eat the right kind of food. You do some exercise. You take a bath and you choose what is really necessary and will make you healthy. No matter how good your product is, even if you have the best product in the whole world, but if you can distribute it efficiently, you can't be successful. Amen. God did not only produce the Holy Church of Jesus Christ. Let's say, I belong to the Holy Church of Jesus Christ. Yes, God did not only produce the Holy Church of Jesus Christ to be the best church in our day. But God wants Holy Church of Jesus Christ to be distributed in every barangay of our city. In every province, nationwide, and around the world. Do you want to help this God's ministry? If so, share this live streaming video. Invite others to subscribe to our channel. Our channel is HTTP uh, colon slash slash bit dot L-Y or Lee slash God's love and ways for us. Use your Facebook account, your Twitter, your Instagram, email, and every other means. Let us do what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9.22, that by all means I may save some. Praise God. Okay, let's go to the number four secret of the kingdom. This is now like a lion. Subdue. Say it, subdue. Subdue means to control the market and to dominate. Dominate the market. Not only that Jollibee, Schumacher, and Microsoft are interested in competition, but they are more interested and concerned about domination. Amen? Conclusion. Kapatid, what do you do with your life and your talents? Again, 
What do you do with your life and your talents? Dominion is not just a pursuit. Rather, it is a good result of being fruitful, the ability to multiply, the ability to replenish, and the ability to subdue. Amen? Praise God. Thank you very much, and God bless us all.